Hi, this is Chris Aldroyd. I'm going to look at today at the Popcorn Hour Media Player C200. Uh, I just want to do a quick video showing you the interface out of the box and how bad it is, and uh, show you what can be done with a little bit of tweaking here and there, and how great it works with the Windows Home Server. So we're just loaded up there now, and one of the big problems with C200 or any network media tank is the uh, the poor user interface. I know Popcorn have said they are working on something and they're going to improve it with a flash UI in the future. But uh, we'll wait and see whether that actually happens or not. But until then, I've managed to find a great workaround. And uh, as this loads up network media tank, I'll just quickly show you the a few bits and pieces on the Popcorn and I'll show you the standard UI, then what I've made it into. And hopefully you'll think the second one's much better. So this is the, the main screen and you basically got your settings here. Let's just go back to that side. These different icons represent different things. That is actually uh, streaming video services. You can put extra ones on there, but um, well, they used to be a YouTube on there, but that's now gone. Settings, you can change all your different uh, settings. Set up your network shares, uh, firmware upgrades. That's if you want to put a Blu-ray drive in the popcorn. Hour. It does have a slot at the front for a SATA Blu-ray drive, which you can pop in there. Uh, USB hard drives, there's four USB connections on there so you can add USB hard drives to that. You can also add USB keyboards if you want to use type input a lot of text. Hard drive connection, you can fit two different types of hard drive. You can fit a 2.5mm hard drive as well as the Blu-ray drive. Or you can fit one 3.5mm SATA, uh, SATA drive in there. But you can't fit a Blu-ray drive if you have that in. And this is the symbol for the network. So we'll go to the network, so I'll have this connected to a Windows Home Server. Click on Media, I'll have an NFS share of my videos folder on the uh, on the Windows Home Server. As you can see, very, very simple file explorer. Click on Movies, and it just gives you an alphabetical list of everything that you've got in there. One thing that you probably do notice is that there's a lot of different file types in here. For example, there's the AVI file. Then we've got a, an ISO file. Keep going down, we've got MKV files. Uh, MP4 files, every one of them plays fine, not a problem. Select it, it'll play. This is the benefit of a uh, popcorn hour. The amount of uh, codecs that they have built into this thing that it can handle and different types of video types is just amazing. As I say, I haven't found one that I can't play yet. Batman again, that's an MKV file in 1080p. Select that. And here we go, should play any minute. There you go, Batman. The info 1080p 24hz 10.33 stream. I also have uh, quite a substantial Blu ray collection now, which I've now ripped onto, onto the popcorn uh, to protect the DVDs and Blu rays from the children because you know, all know what they like damage and stuff, fingerprints. And so, for example, there's Bolt, one of my little one's favourites. It's a 20 gigabyte file, it's an M2 TS stream. Click on that. Should load up straight away. And there you go. Information. So that's playing fine with the DTS soundtrack. One of the most interesting things is uh, Blu ray ISOs. If I just uh, carry on going down here, I only have one on here, I think. Because I decided it wasn't the way to do it. I didn't want to back up all the extras and stuff like that. But and here we go. Keep on going through these. Let's say it's very tiresome to do this. It's it's an awful UI, but uh, it can be fixed, which I'll show you in a second. And so I find a Ratatouille, which is a Blu-ray ISO. Here we go. So there's Ratatouille. That's a 42 gigabyte uh, ISO Blu-ray ISO. So select that. Again, this is all streamed through the network. And it's actually streamed over home plugs, 200 megabits a second home plugs through the router. So uh, it will be better. I am going to fully wire it, but uh, so far I've had pretty good success using these home plugs. The 200 megabits a second ones, not the 100 megabits a second ones. I think you can get one gigabit a second home plugs now, but I've heard bad things about them. I don't think too many people have had a lot of success with them. So as you can see, it's starting up now. It's a it's a full Blu-ray ISO. Little bit slow. This is one of the reasons I kept away from Blu-ray ISOs. It's 
select the menu it should load up the menu for the blu-ray there you go, now we're spinning, spinning wheel and there's the menu for the ISO all streamed across the Windows home server through home plugs and Ethernet cable cast by me so fantastic system looks awful what do we do about it well as I said I installed a program called YAMS Y-A-M-J on the Windows home server and uh, you set it to auto start uh, what you will get is something that looks a bit like this and I'm sure you'll agree it's a massive improvement all the covers searchable XYZ searchable through HD content actually marks stuff that's, that's high definition 24 season 8 and you see how the first four episodes are all in 720p so they mark with an HD flag and uh, it plays straight from the, this menu here so episode 1 press play and here we go here's 24 episode 1 so scrolling through you can click through it just like a, a bookcase of all your DVDs and Blu-rays you just want to see what you've got in HD simply go over to HD there's all my HD stuff now we've put on the half blue prints, click on that, there you go you've got a little write about the film, how many marks got out of 10 from the IMDB database which is where a lot of this information is scraped from and uh, simple as that, players not a problem. The only problem with it is it doesn't remember where you were up to on a film. Uh, you can't mark films as watched. Um, it's basically a non dynamic system. But it looks beautiful. The wife and kids love it. They can use it no problem whatsoever. So it turns the popcorn out of being something of a geeky system. In the, uh, very much at home in the living room system. I'm sure you agree. It's uh, a really good system. Thanks for watching and uh, keep an eye out for me on the digital lifestyle. Thanks very much.